when I think of the city of Wellington, I always seem to think of it as a painting. Just the way the hills, the buildings, and the sea all roll together as one. It somehow reminds me of a, of a classical portrait. I first came to Wellington to escape the corruption and degradation of society. I had no idea what I was getting myself into. I came for the culture, the drama, the music. But behind it all, I found a city and a life of indulgence. I'd been off the sauce for two months, but I had something new. Slaking my lust. Taking my dimes, and then she walked in. Out of all the cafes in all the world, she had to walk into mine. She looked at me, her eyes searing into my soul. Carl, I never expected to see you here. Here in Wellington. I know what you're doing here. You want to make it big. You want to be a star. Well, I'll tell you right now. Save you the heartache. You ain't... I know what you think of me. You think I'm an... innocent little girl. But there's more to me than you think. You're intent on staying. You're intent on staying. You need someone to show you the ropes. See the hot spots. I can do that. I showed her all the theaters, and Trudeau stood at everyone. We hit the Rialto. We hit the Rialto. Circa. Downstage. The Embassy. The Power Mount. The St. James, the Opera House, and many more. She was sucking culture like a honeybee sucking pollen. I took her to Big Bernie's. Cool. For what do I owe the pleasure? Hey, you Bernie. Want you to meet the lovely Miss Veronica Clearwater. I've already met her. And now, she's all mine. <laughs> Only in the city of Wellington, with a culture so exotic yet deadly. Only here could I meet my demise.